Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have some Monster High news to talk about from the official release date being announced for the Monster High live action movie sequel to our first look at what seems to be the core revamped version of Dracula Laura and more. So stay tuned and let's get into it. So let's first get into the announcement for the release date of the Monster High movie 2. So apparently it's going to release simultaneously on Nickelodeon and Paramount Plus on October. 13th which is on a friday that's in six weeks that's so exciting i mean we've gotten like one trailer and one teaser right so not really too much like to go on about so pretty exciting that um it's now just like again six weeks away and uh then it's gonna finally be here i mean pretty exciting stuff that you know no leaks have happened of the actual movie i mean except for the um the story leak which they confirmed to us you know Torlai was going to be in the movie which we have seen her now in a trailer uh revealed uh but also valentine and a Peretta apparently so i made a whole video about that but um yeah so a lot of returning characters um and a witch character obviously the big big bad enemy that got teased in the last movie as well in the end credits she's going to be a big role in this movie so i'm really just excited to see like what it's all about obviously we, we can kind of tell it's about draculaura having to choose between being a witch and being a vampire you know so that's kind of like you can already imagine like how the story is going to go obviously this was 16,000's birthday it's going to be uh the start of the movie where they celebrate her birthday um just like the the doll line in g1 so iconic you know sweet, sweet 16,000. so i can't wait to see that happen we saw her in a trailer wearing this cute little outfit with the crown or whatever so cute like honestly uh the only thing i'm not really excited about is that um it kind of looks like Cleo, Laguna, Abby, and Gulia are really going to be on the sidelines this time around. Like, Cleo even is a, the big surprise for me because Laguna, Gulia, Abby, those characters were in the first movie already not really in the, in the you know, front of the important stuff right they, they didn't really have much to do they didn't have many speaking lines but cleo at least she got more to do but it seems that even cleo in this movie is not going to have uh, much of screen time which really sucks because like cleo gee the actress she does an amazing job and i would love to see more of her also more of laguna um you know and and gulia and abby as well like they would just but I guess it's just really hard to, you know, kind of balance all the characters out with enough screen time. And we already have a new character added, which is Torlai. And they're going to give more, you know, screen time to Deuce and Dracula. So they kind of have to, you know, make some changes. So I get that. But it kind of sucks. But hopefully, you know, I'll be wrong. And we'll get to see enough of Laguna and Cleo uh, and Abby and Gulia in the actual movie but for now i'm excited to see what happens and hopefully the movie won't leak like the first one did i don't think it will it's just too close now uh but yeah so excited will there be like a premiere for this movie anywhere i don't know uh also because there's like the actor strike right there's like a whole strike going on in america with the actor strike the writer strike so i'm not even sure if the um actors are able, uh, able to you know promote the movie actually maybe that's why there hasn't been much promotion aside for like the trailers and the um stuff that the actual you know companies have put out like nickelodeon and mattel so that's probably why the actors haven't actually yeah i mean that that's of course why so that makes sense actually because i was wondering like why is it so still like there's not a much there's not much going on with the new movie like the actors aren't promoting it so but um that makes sense i guess so hopefully you know by then october um the, the strikes will be over and then we'll get like a full-on premiere with the black carpet or whatever that would be so cute. next up we have to talk about the new core dolls getting a revamped release i yeah i don't know what to call it but basically the g3 core dolls are going to get a new refreshed release for next spring that includes draculaura frankie claudine cleo and laguna so basically the main goals from last core release as well and it wasn't too long ago that we got the first you know core release that was like last year that we got the initial uh first core dolls so it's kind of weird that they're already doing like a revamped you know re refreshed look of the core dolls the core characters in with new dolls so i don't know i guess weird uh, maybe is it to accompany like the new season um but the season one hasn't even finished yet so i'm not sure maybe to accompany the new movie but the movie is coming out on, coming out in october so 
and the dolls are coming out in September, uh, in next spring. So that kind of doesn't make sense. But I guess, you know, either way, we're just getting new versions of the core dolls. Uh, we have seen the new artwork that's done now by Dark or Dark for all of them besides for Laguna. So they've all kind of leaked already. So that's going to be the artwork that we see now on the packaging for these core dolls. And now we've already seen our first, um, peek at one of the dolls which is Draculaura here. First we got this unedited picture uh, with the paler lips that was found by at Fold Tail on Twitter. Uh, don't know the original source obviously but it just seems to be a close-up of a stock photo of this new Draculaura doll. And then we got this new uh, edited version of the same doll but with darker lips and like darker makeup and this was shared by Agra Magirmor on Reddit and apparently this is actually going to be the final version of this new core Draculaura doll which people are very happy about because the darker lip looks great, looks better than the um, lighter lip on the un unedited version. So um, that's exciting, yeah. And on the unedited version, which we can see more of the outfit, you know, like the neck, it's not so close up. We can see kind of like the collar, you know, the earrings. So definitely some changes there. It seems to be a little bit of a different outfit for Draculaura. Maybe this version she'll come with her hat. Um, maybe, uh, you know, it'll be like different but we do have some descriptions apparently that you know her outfit is going to be a little bit more darker it's going to be more black which we can tell by the sleeves they are going to be more black so it makes sense and um yeah not much else but uh it's interesting how they are going for they are going to do a revamped refreshed look of the core characters with these new dolls um so yeah i'm interested i'm intrigued why they're doing it i assume everything else will be the same like they will come with the same amount of accessories like they will still come with their pets you know backpacks uh but perhaps the accessories accessories will be different maybe you know since the outfits are different it would only make sense maybe the packaging is also going to be different um i'm i'm definitely very curious like how much different are these going to be um and also like Draculaura's hair seems to be in pigtails here so that's fun uh, yeah i'm just I'm, i have so many questions like like why re-release them now in new looks like not even a like by next spring yeah it'll be like a year over a year later but like still like why release them so soon after g3 launch like it just doesn't make sense to me um but perhaps you know they're trying to uh just do them right this time you know like how the fans wanted to see the outfits done with more black you know gothic undertones uh more accurate um maybe laguna will be blue I don't think so, but uh, you know, they'll keep her pink for sure. But uh, maybe she'll have more, you know, athletic style. You know, maybe Cleo will get released in her pants look. I really don't know. I don't think so, since her artwork doesn't show her in a new pants look. But hey, you know, whatever happens, um, this is definitely something new that's gonna happen and come out next year. But by then, I, I think we're gonna get leaks, more leaks for sure. <laughs> I mean, knowing how the internet works we're gonna get to see leaks <laughs> by then for sure and lastly we have to talk about the fact that the vampire heart draculaura doll has been confirmed to be a u.s exclusive drop which means that if you're an international fan like me and you don't live in the u.s then you won't be able to get her unless you get her on ebay for double the price and let me remind you she already costs 100 us dollars uh, apparently the price did drop to 90 us dollars uh, after she sold out and uh, she restocked again for like one second um, which by the way if you want to get her you live in the US don't worry she will go back into stock eventually so that's amazing uh, but uh, yeah so she will cost double the price on eBay if you want to get her and you don't live in the US so yay for me <laughs> great <laughs> you know every time I think I, I can forgive Mattel I can give them the benefit of the doubt you know, I can be a fan of theirs um, and buy their products, which I do. But like, then they do something like this, where it really makes me not want to support them, where it makes me not want to like them, where it makes me not want to give them my money. <laughs> so really just sucks for international fans that just this doll specifically, who you know is going to be the most popular Draculaura doll ever, probably, um, is going to be behind this us exclusive barrier which is going to double her price on ebay which we're talking like 200 300 dollars uh you know any currency really prices really so that's insane um so yeah 
I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm disappointed, really. I'm disappointed. I'm frustrated by Mattel. Why do they keep doing these things? Like, please, Mattel, let me like you. Please make her available for international purchase. But nope. No, they have to be hard. They have to be dif difficult to work with. And they have to make her a US exclusive only. Because, of course, that would make them more money if than if they would just release her internationally. Like, how does that make sense? They would make double the money if they would make her available to everyone. So that just, that's, that's what really doesn't, that's what com confuses me. <laughs> like, how do they benefit from selling less from her? Right? Like, how does that make sense? I don't get it. You know, this is the same thing that happened with real drama. Real drama released and sold out, never got restocked. <laughs> And it was majorly also US exclusive with some exceptions. I've, I never saw them online or in life, in person, in life, in person where I live. So um, they were not wildly available, you know, by any means. And they never came back. So like, why? Why is, why is this happening again? Why? <laughs> oh man, you know, and it just sucks. Because I saw people getting two of her. And, and, and that costs like 200 per, per probably um, on the initial, you know, launch. And now me, I'm going to have to pay 200 plus for one of them on eBay. Like, how is that fair? Like, it's Jackie Laura. It's a collector doll. She has the most unique design I've ever I've ever seen on a Monster High doll, really. Um, she's, so, she's so inspired. She has quality. She has layers. She's actually worth a high price point. And yet here we are, you know, complaining because, well, she's a US exclusive. Like, why? It was it was so close to perfection. This whole release was so close to being like a really good release, a good drop. But no, they had to pull, they had to do something and ruin it and and make her a US exclusive. For why? For what? How does that benefit them? How does that? How do they gain more than if they would release her internationally? Like, I just don't understand. What is the logic here? <laughs> and, and then on top of that, they're angering international fans, which, surprise, outweigh US fans. Like, the globe's population, like, the, like, the population of everyone except the US is bigger than the population in the US, like, right? Like, it's, it's math. I'm sorry. It's just the numbers. It's just facts. Like, US population doesn't, doesn't outweigh the rest of the world's population. So, like, they're angering everyone else who isn't a US fan because she's not available to us. And then, because now we're going we're, we're gonna to have to pay, like, double the price on eBay. So, it's just, like... I don't know. Am I, am I making sense? Like, it just doesn't make sense. It's frustrating. It's saddening. It's just, it, it's disappointing because I want to support Mattel because they own Mat Monster High and I always will love Monster High. But how am I supposed to love Monster High and Mattel if they keep doing things like this that make me just want to not like them? You know, it really is just a tough thing. It's just not easy. It's just not great to be a Monster High fan or to be a Mattel fan, so. And I, I'm not the only one, right? Like, I, if you're an international fan, then please let me know. Like, we're pissed, right? Like, we're not happy about this, right? Because <laughs> it really, it sucks. Um, but anyway, sorry. If you're in the US and you pre-ordered her or even got two of her, I'm happy for you. I hope she arrives soon. Um, so yeah, it really just concerns international fans. Like always, with any release, there's always something, you know, always with Monster High, with Mattel. Um, unfortunately, that's just how it is. That's just, that's just the way it is. <laughs> okay, anyways. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed whatever this was. Leave a like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and become a member today so you don't miss out when I post more content like this coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love. Stay safe, be kind. I hope to see you next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.